want to, to also make it clear, because I, this is another rumor that's starting, mm -hmm. that the only way I could have gotten this interview was that I con contractually agreed to call you the King of Pop. And uh -huh. I would just like to say to the world, Michael did not tell me to call him the King of Pop. As a matter of fact, I haven't called you the King of Pop once here. And uh, I frankly, I frankly think that the King of Pop is probably too limiting a title for you. I, I mean, I think that uh, most of the world would agree that you're no doubt one of the greatest entertainers the world has ever seen. So you would be king of entertainment or Liz Taylor said you were king of pop rock and soul. Where did this whole notion that you proclaimed yourself king of pop come from? Well, I didn't proclaim myself to be anything. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to be alive. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to be who I am. Um, King of Pop was first said by Elizabeth Taylor on one of the award shows. As a matter of fact, we have that. Let's, let's, let's roll that. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1989 Heritage Award and Sammy Davis Jr. Award recipient, and in my estimation, the true king of pop, rock, and soul, Mr. Michael Jackson. And that's where this all started? Yes, and then fans, all the stadiums that we play, they bring big banners to say the king of pop, mm -hmm. and jackets to say the king of pop, and t-shirts to say the king, and they chant it mm -hmm. outside my hotel, king of pop, king of pop, king So it just became something that just, you know, that happens just all over the world. Happened. Yeah. But you didn't tell me to call you king of pop. No. No. Yeah. Why would I tell you to call you king of pop? I've been calling you Michael. Yeah, I think the press loves to just start trouble like that. I mean, again, do not read the tabloids, please. It's crazy.